Good morning, and thank you for joining. Welcome back to another session, Rumination with Andrew. And today we've been looking at two new drugs that have been developed, manufactured in the UK. Well, they are just suggesting to us that they have now found the cure for Alzheimer's disease in the UK. And I find that to be very interesting. We've seen since the pandemic a proliferation, and I should say rapid proliferation, of different types of drugs, be they vaccines or you know other forms of drugs to cure diseases as they think they do. Um, you know, normally, as many scientists say, it takes about 10 years for an effective vaccine to be put on the market. And even perhaps that number of years for an effective pill or medication also to be put on the market. But since COVID, we have been seeing where scientists have been fast tracking lots of, you know, different medications. Because, you know, we have this impression now that you can use technology to fast pace the production of medications. It is very important for us to understand that the human machinery is a delicate one. It's a strong one, but it's delicate. And we've got to be very careful what we put into our bodies. So, you know, you must ensure those of you who might be suffering from Alzheimer's, and even if you're not suffering from Alzheimer's, they're suggesting that you can be tested and that they can decide to offset, or some of these medications can offset the onset of the of this terrible disease. So I understand why some people might be excited for this new drug, right, for this new medication, but we have to be very careful. Remember now that big profit for, for big pharma rather, profit, you know, they place profit over people's lives, right? And we have to understand that. So we're going to look um, at the, briefly at this article from the Guardian, the UK Guardian newspaper. It says new Alzheimer's drugs bring hope of slowing disease for UK patients. So they're suggesting that, you know, with this medication, it will slow down the disease of Alzheimer's, right? And many people, you know, in our world today is suffering from this very terrible disease. People in Britain could benefit from a key medical breakthrough next year. They may be given access to the first drugs ever developed to slow the impact of Alzheimer's disease. Now, that's interesting. Remember, too, during the pandemic that the, the Vs were expected to slow the spread um, also of the coronavirus, which it did not do, right? So we have to be careful what they tell us. These very, you know, um, you know, positive words that they, you know, um, force upon us, right, to believe. Now, the first of these med medicines, and we have... The cane map. Now, as I've always said, why make these words very difficult to pronounce? The cane map, very strange word, was recently approved in the US and Japan, where treatments using it have already been launched. A second drug, donane map, is expected to follow soon. And next year, it is anticipated that the UK medical authorities will consider both of them for approval in Britain. So that is quite quick that these drugs have just come out. I don't think we have heard anything about them before, but they are going to be also fast tracked and will be um, coming out anytime soon, will be approved by the US authorities. Now, this prospect has raised hopes that after years of effort, scientists may be closing in on ways to directly tackle the UK's dementia crisis. About a million people are living with the condition in this country, and this is expected to rise to above 1.7 million by what by 2040 with potentially grim consequences last year dementia took the lives of 60 66000 people in england and wales and it is now the leading cause of death in britain with alzheimer's accounting for two thirds of cases that is some interesting data that they're presenting here right about a million people are living with the the, the condition of dementia, Alzheimer's, and also that's expected to rise to about 1.7 million by 2040. That's really a lot. Now, they're expecting the new drugs to slow down the development of Alzheimer's by six months to a year. You know, they always are anticipating. I always 
distrust them, <laughs> right? When they are telling me about the time that in which it can be slowed down, because we heard that too, um, as far as the coronavirus was concerned, and are useful only for those in the early stages of the condition. So they are certainly not miracle medicines, right? Said David Thomas, head of policy at Alzheimer's Research UK. For me, I think that these are just speculative statements, right, that we have to be careful of. Yes, he's sort of conceding that they're not miracle drugs, but be careful when you're talking about the brain. The brain is a powerful machine, and yet it is very, very delicate, and we have to take care of our minds, of our brains. Now, this one goes back, to, uh, the, however, after decades of research, they are the first to improve patients' lives directly, and that is a justifiable cause for excitement. If nothing else, they suggest we are probably on the right road to tackling Alzheimer's. This point was backed by neurologist um, Kath Mom of the Dementia Research Center at University College London. It has been a very long, hard road, but finally we have something positive to look at. That is very welcome. So look at the first drug it calls Lecane Map, which is produced by a Japanese pharmaceutical company um, ISI and Donan, Donane Mab, produced by Eli Lilly of the United States, are the first medicines to achieve this aim, though they only slow but do not ultimately halt the disease's progression. Now, throughout this article, they have not mentioned anything about, you know, lifestyle treatment for, you know, Alzheimer's to because since that's what they want to do, to slow down Alzheimer's, I think we should be talking about lifestyle treatments. And I'm not saying for those persons who might not need these medications, but scientists, their major thrust is to ensure that, well, well I should say one of their major thrusts is to ensure that we are in good health, right? Um, but, you know, because of course the scientists here, I would think, uh, include our medical scientists, right? But many of the times what we see that they're doing, they're promoting drugs as opposed to good health and well-being, right? And you know, what he's talking about, exercise, you know, getting sunshine, pure air, right? Faith in God, water, right? Nobody's talking about these things, right? They're just, you know, willing to promote drugs, Right, and that is not good when we see a society heading in that direction where money runs the show and money stands at the center of everything. We've got to be very, very careful. But these are the new drugs, right? That they think, right? The Donain Mab and the Lecane Mab, right? They are suggesting that these drugs in the UK could slow down um, the onset of Alzheimer's disease, and perhaps maybe one day they could cure that disease. But I just wanted to bring that to the fore and to let you know that these are the medications that are on the market, you know, at least in the UK for now. We don't know when it will get to our shores in the Americas. But be careful and make sure that you do things that will strengthen the capacity of your brain, right? Because there are things that you can do right? And exercise should be the number one thing. Ensure that you exercise so the blood can flow freely and you can get the oxygen. Remember now that it is clean blood that determines the quality of your health. So you always have to make sure that your blood is clean and it is pure, all right? Thank you so much for joining and I look forward to seeing you in another presentation. All the best. Bye-bye.